the governor addressed a wide variety of topics uh, dealing with the COVID-19 response, including the surging numbers of cases, which he says are concerning, as well as ongoing issues regarding face coverings. As we reported last night, Salt Lake County is has been uh, asking the governor for permission to mandate the use of face coverings uh, in Utah's most populous counties. Uh, Salt Lake County Mayor Jenny Wilson sent a letter to the governor urging him to do that. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I got sent a letter from Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall to the governor, also supporting the county mayor's request to mandate the use of face coverings in public in Salt Lake County. Now, at his news conference a short time ago, the governor indicated that he is inclined to grant this request. He will formally meet with the COVID-19 Unified Command and review that tomorrow. Let's play back a little of what the governor had to say. Uh, there is a process we have in place. That process is for local government leaders, if they have a desire to make some adjustment to the current rules, regulations, the classifications that we have in this pandemic, that they work with their local health departments and work with our state health department to make that request. And if the data shows it, we've said we will, in fact, grant the request. Uh, uh, there is a problem. Again, uh, Salt Lake County requesting that they mandate face coverings, that the governor grant that authority to Salt Lake County to mandate face coverings. Uh, and the governor is signaling that he is inclined to grant this. I've been told Summit County is also discussing whether or not to make a similar request, but no decision has been made there. The governor took it a little further today, saying that he will, in fact, mandate the use of face coverings inside all state-run facilities. That would include college camp that would also include state-run liquor stores. But basically, if you want to do business with the state, you have to wear a face covering whenever you go in a state-run facility. The governor in this wide-ranging news conference also announced that one of his uh, staffers, a uh, senior staffer in the governor's office, has tested positive for COVID-19. The governor himself has tested negative, uh, but uh, a lot of staffers within the governor's office self-isolating at this point, a lot certainly covered in this news conference, the governor also announcing that on the color-coded risk scale, he will not be sliding things. Uh, he will not be reducing the level of risk uh, across the state, at least for the next two weeks. I asked the governor if there was a chance that with the uh, surge in cases, the hospitalizations that we're seeing, that Utah could slide back to orange. He would not rule that out.